what's up my name is guy or sad guy raps and you are watching the official behind the scenes making my latest single think about love after the video i want you to go ahead and check out the link in my bio stream it save it for yourself so the story behind this song begins in a panera bread around last summer it's funny i was actually homeless at the time if you want to know about that go ahead and just comment below and I'll make like a separate post about it. A majority of my days were spent inside of Panera. Outside of looking for work, I was also just making beats and making music and I was making TikToks and I was diving into the world of social media. But it was just one of those days where I was just like chilling, making some videos, but I was just really into producing. I was like just really tuned in. So I'm scavenging the internet, uh, trying to find, you know, the raw dope samples. And you know, I come across this bass line and like absolutely love it. Uh, this bass line right here. So I'm like, oof, I like it. Throw it in, throw on some kicks and some snares, some hi-hats, just something chill so I can go ahead and begin the process of writing, right? You know what's actually really dope is shortly after that, I posted uh, Ricky Desktop, right? Ricky Desktop, he is the Kenny Beats of TikTok. Um, but I think he either replied to a comment or something I said in a DM. It was just super dope. But the same day that I came up with this, spoke to Ricky Desktop, is the last time I worked on this song. Months go by, and now I'm living in Gainesville. I'm working at this super dope bar, um, like the spot the hot spot it's called the social and yeah so me and my roommate you know we we jammed a little bit sometimes we made our own song nirvana ecstasy we showed him some of my old beats he heard thing about love was like yo fire and so we started working at it the only thing is that you know i was saying i want you to be the singer on this but i mean in truth one of my biggest fears is literally singing or performing on my own songs all right like how stupid is that like one of my biggest fears, but also my biggest thrill and passion all coincide within the same bubble. Though I wanted him to, I wanted to. So like I never, we just never went through with it. The song was touched up a little bit and then we just let it flop again. Now it's freaking 2021. I'm no longer in Gainesville in West Palm Beach. So I invite some old buddies over. I invite my roommate from Gainesville over and I invite my old bandmate Connor or Sid Killian from Simpin' Ain't Easy. And we all get together, we start jamming. I show them thing about love, cause Mike loves thing about love. Joe Sidge digging it, brought a guitar, his bass, threw a little bit of some things on there. And like, I didn't even hear it at first, actually. Mike caught it, Mike caught it first. Mike has always been great at like catching music by ear. He's freaking Charlie Puth of playing by ear. I'm freaking live producing, live mixing, recording as we're all just jamming, singing here and there, Connor's shredding, all right here in my room, just chilling. But that's where the song really developed, got its spark, and like that's where the song caught my attention fully. So shortly after that, I go ahead, wrap everything up into a demo, take it to a local producer in West Palm Beach at Dream Machine Studio, work with an engineer, and you know, after some time, after the nitty gritty, here we have the finish product. Stream it, save it for yourself.